Hey everybody, we have made it to the Bald Mountain Jeep Trail and we are going to attempt to do it on the Honda Monkey and the TW200. So wish us luck. We will be avoiding as many puddles as we can today. Monkey got a little waterlogged last week and I had to drain mud and everything out of the airbox. But these uh, mud holes out here are big enough to swallow these bikes because Jeeps come out here and get stuck in them. This is a Jeep trail. And so we will have to watch out for uh, traffic and things like that. So hopefully we make it through here and we come out in one piece. This, we're starting at the bottom. We're going to go up several thousand feet in elevation climbing through this because it's going to end up on the Blue Ridge Parkway is where this cuts out at. We're down the valley right now. And so we're going to climb up there and hopefully we make it. I think we've got to climb two mountains. I'm not sure. Never been here before. We're doing it blind. So we're heading up that trail right there. Cross your fingers for us. Well, all right, here we go. I expected there to be a big sign, but there isn't one, so let's head on in. See what happens. And it's rocky from the start. Well, we've already had to stop. We've got one casualty. Jeremy lost a glove. <laughs> so he's got to go back for his glove. It's going to take an immediate turn heading uphill. We're going to be climbing right off the bat. So let's wait for him to get back. Found your glove? Yeah. All right. All right, we're leading and start. Fucking pick us a line through this stuff. mindful of the pipe on this stuff since nobody makes a skid plate to fit the Yoshimura pipe I'm gonna get an upper body workout in these 12 inch wheels in this stuff there was one thing I noticed from watching oh, watching the video back from our last ride because the TW went through the rocks a lot easier than I did. All right, first casualty, kickstand spring. Got knocked off by a rock. So I'm gonna have to put that back on. What was 
last time we stopped at. Where are you going? Get my food. What happened? Left pack open. Left your pack open? Yeah. Oh my god, what a rookie mistake. Yeah. Alright, I'll wait here. <laughs> Hopefully it's not. Where's the last place we stopped? When we repaired the monkey? Yeah, where we fixed the spring on the monkey was the last place we stopped. So so good, your stuff's probably littered down the trail. Probably. <laughs> you want to take the camera with you? And take find it? <laughs> I'll, I'll explain to them why we stopped here and what we're doing while you're gone. Okay. All right. So we stopped to take a break. We've had one casualty already so far. Well, if we include your bag and your gloves, we've had four casualties so far. Uh, the monkey lost a the spring for the kickstand got knackered, and so it's it's on there. We've got it kind of jury rigged up. It's working. It ain't pretty. <laughs> You can't see it. I mean, I guess it, I guess it works. I'll probably buy a new one down the road. Spring can't be that much. Jeremy's gonna go find all his stuff that he lost down the trail because he left his bag unzipped. And as you can see down the trail, we have been climbing the whole way. So we've come from down there, and we are going up right there. We have got to contend with these rocks. So we've got a got a rock ledge crossing the trail here and we stopped to take a look at it because we can't just go charging through this stuff this is where like big lifted jeeps and things go through here so we've got to kind of pick and choose what we're going to do we got a line for jeremy kind of up the middle but my ground clearance won't allow it so i'm going to go up the high side over here my brain says take the easy route and go up this side this is youtube we got to do the hard side so jeremy's going up the middle i'm going up the right and wish us luck <laughs> all right jeremy has been gone a little too long so i'm gearing back up and heading down the mountain to find him hopefully he's okay so let's see what's going on here and hopefully we don't find him laid off the side of the trail somewhere Find everything? Yeah. All right, good. I think what happened, I had it zip, both zippers at the top. Yeah. And I think you got the a, weight screwed it. You got a bug on your finger. On your glove. What is it? Grasshopper crawling across your glove. You got a full face helmet on, you can't blow it off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I had it zipped at the top because I don't remember opening it. Yeah. I think it, the weight caused it to spread. Just caused it to open up? Yeah. All right. All right, well, head back up there where we were and I'll turn around and I'll meet you back up there. I need a break. I'm sweating. Like I bet you are. I was getting worried. I had to come back. <laughs> yeah, right. I was trying. I was like, Tom's going to come looking for me. I was trying. <laughs> All right. All right. So Jeremy's okay. So let's get whipped around here and we will go hook back up with him. And I'm glad I got a monkey and not a bigger bike. That turnaround would have been much more difficult. Contigo, not trail rated. <laughs> didn't leak nothing. Didn't, didn't leak though. Yeah, it didn't Big leak. dent, but no didn't leak. leak. But yeah, that was laying, I guess, I guess off the side of the trail. Tell them. Hmm? So this was laying off to the side of the trail, just <laughs> on the edge, right at a tree. And then about 100 yards down the trail was my cup. <laughs> what all was that? What all was missing? That's it. Just Everything else two? was in the other pocket. You went back for just the food? Yeah, I'm hungry. Well, shit. <laughs> Could have ate rocks, bark <laughs> off a tree or something. We didn't need to go back for that. You think I was worried about him? <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've decided how we're going to do this. The easy route is on the left. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there's a lot of 4x4 four four tracks out here. And you can see where they've all turned around, came back, and gone up the left side. We ain't doing that. Jeremy's going to try to go up the middle of it. 
He's got enough ground clearance. He should be okay. I don't. So I'm going to go up the right side, which is even taller, but it's more gradual. So wish us luck and pray for YouTube gold. <laughs> Hopefully it's you. <laughs> First one. I didn't make it over that one. <laughs> you good? You all right? Uh huh. You okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Monkey's turn. <laughs> I think we might be at the top. Holy Toledo. Well, we got a sign here, let's see what this is. It's probably just one of the, the first offshoot, I'm guessing. Blue Ridge Parkway, seven miles. So we've gone three miles so far. <laughs> We're not even halfway down. We need that way. I think we need this one. We just gotta watch the, we gotta go around those puddles. Cause those things could be ridiculous deep. We don't know. Now hopefully this smooths out some. It's been so rocky. Now it's just rocky. It has been just rock the whole way. Oh, there hadn't been any smooth section of this. This is probably the smoothest section we've seen so far. He's having a hell of a time in these rocks. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh smooth ground. Uh, smooth ground for a second. having to pick my lines through here and a lot of times it's sending me off to the side of the trail where I get smacked in the face and here we go well I'm gonna say stay to the left side as best you can it's probably gonna be slick why don't you go first <laughs> time to get the feet wet. We was hoping we could go around this stuff, but I just don't see it happening. So I'm already over front tire deep. Watch Jeremy. If I can get off the bike. <laughs> Come on, TW. Can you back up at all? 
I don't want to have to walk through that shit. Hey. Hey, Jeremy. You see that rock right there? Uh -huh. See that rock on the bank? Yeah. See this rock right here? Yeah. I think you're okay if you just come right through there. There you go. Hopefully we don't have much more of that. Huh? Hopefully we don't have a lot of that. Well, hopefully we can get around them yeah. is the thing. Hey, I hit a branch and lost the microphone cord. Oh, shit. Where do you think you hit it at? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, okay. Tell you what that means. What's that mean? That means I can't edit this video for sound. Right, so. Unless Kelly's got one. I could probably run to Walmart and get one. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. So we just don't have the we don't have the shotgun mic now. So we've had some casualties this trip. What's it been? All right, so let's count it. We've had two gloves, but we got them back. Kickstand spring on the monkey. Yep. Your food. Yep. Got it back. <laughs> Your brake lever. Perfect. And now the microphone adapter for the shotgun mic. <laughs> so we're batting, and we're not even halfway through this trail. At least it's smooth right here. Yeah. Smooth and sandy. Yeah, it's been a rough ride. So we've lost the adapter cable for the shotgun mic. Oh, oh, oh. This is a big climb. a bug and split the uprights here well the monkey wants to wallow around when it hits sand I'll say that this is the first real sand I've taken it in relax here a little bit going downhill give my upper body a break my shoulders are smoked yeah wrestling it around through them rocks man I'm having a kind of a rough go of it TW is going over them pretty well monkey just got the smaller wheels and a lot less ground clearance and Needs a snorkel air box. Stay to the right, you think? I said these are deep enough to swallow these bikes. Some of these are deep as shit. So we can't just go blasting through these. first next time here you go ahead I'll follow you for a bit let him lead for a little while he's going through the first next puddle first that's all there is to that bigger tires wheels there is definitely something to be said for that you can 
see me darting around a lot more where he's just kind of tractoring right over everything. And I gotta pick my line a little more. So I don't bang things hanging off the bottom of the bike. All right, I think we are officially halfway through this trail. We have just crested Bald Mountain and we've we found a little old campsite and we've stopped here to take a break. The trail has gotten better, actually. It's not, the rocks have gotten a little smaller, but up here at the top part, so climbing from west to east, if you're on this trail, the first part is going to be really rocky with adult size, adult head sized rocks and lots of baby heads. But once you get near the top, we're coming to this. And these are deep enough to, I mean, Jeeps and big four wheel drives get stuck in there. So we're not attempting to go across those because we could lose a bike in there. So we're gonna try to skirt around the sides of all these if we can. And it's very sandy up here at the top too. And the monkey's having trouble in the sand. It's wanting to, the front end's washing out and the rear end, both ends will go. Um, had to use my size 12 outriggers a lot. I say this is probably the roughest trail I've been on with it. Jeremy thinks otherwise. You think last week was harder? Yeah, more mud. Yeah, it's more mud. It's well, you're you're having an easier time yeah, yeah. with true. the rocks than yeah. I am. So I think because my upper body is just smoked from wrestling the monkey through the rocks. So we're gonna take a quick break here and continue on. Like I said, I think we're halfway. And consulting the uh, the lines on the map it doesn't look like we're going to face anything steep from here out we got one climb it looks like looks like we got one climb and then it looks the rest of it looks like a traverse for miles out of here so we'll find out let's get back underway all right monkey made it through there way down the tw now got out and did my my victory donut. We're gonna get some YouTube gold here because Jeremy's gonna fall in the water right here. Oh, you got it. Just do a do a one and a half gainer when you pull up when you fall over. Big splash, cannonball. Don't put your right foot down. Oh, he's good. He's got it. Oh. And then he lays it down. You're supposed to do a victory donut, not lay it down. I tried a victory donut and it didn't work. <laughs> Holy shit, that sucked. Yeah, I was going to try to do the exact same thing. Oh. 
And there's another one, look. All right. Maybe we can get her on the right side, the left side of this one. Go around the left side, I'll film you going through. Oh, you got it, go around that way. You can keep it running. Don't kill it. Oh, easy one. Nothing but a thing. All right, monkey, let's go. How come you get to go first on all the easy ones? <laughs> That's bullshit. Which way, which way, which way? I have no choice on that one. Some of these, we're just not gonna have a choice here. Can't tell if that's the way around or if somebody got stuck and backed in there. That looks like a way through. I don't know how good of a way through, but somebody's come through here. <laughs> Stop here and wash my foot off. Covered in mud. Yeah, we can't really charge through those like we did last week because we know some of these are extremely deep Made your way around that one with a chainsaw. These four by fours come up here and they get stuck and they have to leave them and come back and try to rescue them. And then there's a vehicle up there. I don't know if he's stuck or what he's doing. Take a look at this thing. Uh. So one of his lights over here is all busted up. He's got a flat tire here on the front. Is there a plate on the back of this? Yeah. The one on the front's missing. I'm 
was wondering if they just abandoned it. I'm sure they'll be back for it. Yeah, the weather stripping yeah. from the doors hanging off. Yeah. Somebody's having a worse day than us, it looks like. Well, here's what's left of a tie-down strap they used to get it out of here. <laughs> All right, so the Honda Monkey outperformed a Jeep Cherokee. I would say so. so we, we can officially say that, okay. I would say so. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like they tried to really lighten that thing up, removing the doors and everything off of it. TW just kind of floats over this stuff. The monkey just pinballs its way through. <laughs> so this is a triple thread here. We got rocks, water, and sand. No problem for Baby Kong. Yeah, trail there to the right, left. Yeah. All right, let's hit that. I'm hung on a rock. Ah, good mud, good mud. Let's see if we can stay out of that. Jeremy makes it because I'm just going. I see a headlight, so I think he's okay. for him. Woo doggies. And more to come. That's where we need to be setting up the other camera down there. <laughs> that was gnarly. It's, this here ain't too smooth either. It looks pretty steep though. Like stay stay left I guess. bug I got a bee right in the fucking helmet I couldn't stop <laughs> quick enough like I seen it fly and I was still like trying to stop get my fucking helmet off and couldn't get this off <laughs> yeah I mean it's way right there <laughs> I stopped, I, should, I just shut the camera off for a second. I was like, wait, I don't hear him. I didn't want to stick me like on my eyelid. Let it go. 
walking down the trail. I'd make him give me a ride back to my bike. Well, I think we made it. We made it to the next sign. We're not all the way through, but I think we only got a couple of hundred yards to go. So we stopped here and we'll do our little after action talk. What do you think? Very rocky. Very rocky. Yes, I agree. Lots of baby heads and adult head sized rocks in there. Uh, TW seemed to want to float over them a lot easier. There is something to be said for bigger tires. You had a much easier time going through some of those sections where I was like pinballing back and forth. Yeah, I mean, you figure my front tire is the rear tire on most bikes. And then it might as well be an ATV tire on the rear. Monkey had trouble in the sand, front and rear both wanting to wash out, uh, so the tires didn't do a whole lot of good. Once, once it hit sand, deep sand, it was in trouble. Mud, it went through mud fine. Yeah, better than TW. Yeah, the TW had a little trouble in the mud. Monkey got stuck one time. It got buried up to the engine in mud, and I believe it or not, I actually picked the bike up and moved it. I couldn't believe it. I was just able to just, uh, and just pick the entire bike up and get it out. So it didn't even kill the engine. No. <laughs> made, it through. made it through everything didn't go down uh, you went down once well twice yeah. on a that, rock climb what was that, oh, that awesome was donut, to do a donut you, that awesome donut you tried <laughs> yeah, to do I tried <laughs> so our casualties from the beginning was glove yeah glove food food kickstand spring brake, brake lever, lever microphone adapter for the camera we're having to speak up a little bit we lost the microphone adapter for the camera somewhere down there and i ain't going back for it as far as the trail itself uh, i really didn't think it was a lot of fun mm. i am beat up and i am just wore out my upper body is sore and tired from just wrestling the bike through all those rocks because it was the sign back there said this trail was nine miles and it was eight miles of rocks it was uh, jeeps can have it as far as i'm concerned yeah yeah. Okay. You coming back? No. I don't. <laughs> There's offshoot trails we were talking about, maybe hitting that on another day, but I don't think we're coming back here. This It wasn't a lot of fun. It was a slog. It turned into a slog. And there at the end, I just started gassing it and going. So I was I just ready to get out of here. Yeah. So hopefully we got enough good footage to put together something entertaining for you guys to watch. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching us beat the hell out of ourselves. <laughs> I'm going to go hit the pavement and I'm going home. I'll catch you guys later. Well, we stopped on the way out to get a shot of this because we started over there, over that other ridge line, way over there. And we came through all of this. So not bad for a mini bike and a TW200. Oh. And then he lays it down. <laughs> Where are you going? Get my food. What happened? Left pack open. You left your pack open? Yeah. Oh my God, what a rookie mistake. Yeah. How come you get to go first on all the easy ones? <laughs> That's bullshit. I got a bee right in the fucking helmet. Grasshopper crawling across your glove. You got a full face helmet on, you can't blow it off. 